Hello guys, Reckless Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Uh, as you saw right now, I just jumped down there, and uh, I went down there to do some level grinding, but then I, I was going to just cut it out completely, but I grabbed that tornado jump badge right there, so I was forced to uh, leave it in here, because I wouldn't have remembered what was in there when I came back later, you know? So uh, basically, yeah, I just I just did a little bit grinding. I don't even think I leveled up at all. I obviously didn't, or else I would have left it in there. But it was just nice to go down there anyway and get some extra star points, you know. Uh, anywho, we are now at the creepy steeple, and uh, immediately we're gonna roll up into our little. Whatever that thing is called. I don't even know what to call that. And uh, we're going to go into the secret passageway and get yet another shine sprite. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, later videos I edited, but... Because I was about to say, we're getting a lot of shine sprites, don't you think? But it was just because I was editing those other videos. The later videos, and we're getting a lot of shine sprites in those. Uh, I will say this, I do forget to, uh, I do forget to do something. My friends are all gone, I'm so very lonely. That's a boo. I really hate their design in this game. It looks very ugly to me. That's the one thing about the Paper Mario game, this game at least. I don't know about the others, because I haven't really played the others too much. Besides Super Paper Mario. I am at the, okay, here's the story about Super Paper Mario. I don't like to talk about it too much. But basically, Super Paper Mario um, was originally the game I wanted. I, like, I saw Paper Mario on YouTube back when I was a kid. And I was like, wow, Super Paper Mario, you know, that looks so cool. And uh, so I had, like, this thing for Super Paper Mario, but I never had a Wii. I didn't get a Wii until, like, 2012, I think. 2011 or 2012. And um, so I was like, oh, man, I don't have, you know, a Wii. And uh, so I did, like, research, and I found Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I saw a YouTuber doing a Let's Play on it, which is actually quite crazy, uh, a YouTuber that I'm familiar with. Not familiar, like, I don't know each other, but, like, I watch this YouTuber's content today, and I just, like, I had no clue back then who he was. And now I know who he is, and it's, like, when I look at it, the playthrough now, I'm like, whoa, you know, that that was him all those years ago, and I didn't even know it, because I was just some dumb kid. Anywho, I found this game, and I was like, wow, this game, and yeah. So originally, it was Super Paper Mario that I liked a lot, and then I discovered Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, and I, I certainly do like this one a lot better than Super Paper Mario. I can tell you that right now. Um, so anyway, I didn't get a Wii until like 2011 or 12. I can't remember. And um, after I, the first game I got for the Wii was Super Paper Mario. I don't know why that was my first game. It was probably just because it was affordable. Because, you know, I did want Mario Kart so I could play online with Cool Tiger Cook. And I did want Super Smash Brothers because everybody seemed to like that game so much. And uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of games on the Wii that I wanted, you know? But for whatever reason, I picked out Super Paper Mario as the first game. And that was the only game I had for the Wii for a while. Like, that's, that's, that's what introduced me to emulation. Because I only had Super Paper Mario for the Wii. And I didn't really have anything else to play, so Cool Tiger Cook hooked me up with all these emulations and stuff, whatever. So, uh, Super Paper Mario, I had it, and, um, I didn't really play it. Like, I played it, and I got stuck on the first Mr. L boss, I think. And that's because I suck at games. Like, I, I'm probably gonna, like, you know, do a lot of comments, like, Wow, you got stuck at Mr. L, come on, blah, 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 but whatever. I suck at video games, everybody knows that. Um, and I stopped playing and I didn't pick it up again until like 2014. And then I played it and I got to the, I beat Mr. L like it was no thing. Like it was no one's business, you know? And I got all the way up to the, 
I'm on the last. I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what the chapter is. Like, I'm on the last zone though. I'm like at Count Lex Castle, and I just lost. And like, you know, the only two party members I have left are Luigi and Mario. If that describes the situation well. So like, I've just lost. I think I just lost Bowser. I think I lost Peach first, and then I lost Bowser. And then now it's like. Yeah, I don't know how to explain where I'm at, you know, quite accurately. If I had like, you know, if I if I had it on screen right now and I knew where I was, then I would do it. Like I would be able to describe where I am. I I, I still got commentary. Kill me. Anywho, um, yeah, and basically like I I put myself in like a bad situation. Like it's like I'm just like poorly equipped, and um. So it's like the only way I can get out of the situation I'm in is if I just have raw skill and that's just something I don't have. <laughs> so it's like um, I just forever die over and over in the same spot because I suck at games. And as you saw, pressing that switch makes those stairs move, but I did the wrong side. So yeah. I had to come over here and do it. I am exhausted. What is this? Part 35? Good lord. You have so much to go. You have so much to go through. And I had to come back and do it again because I thought I needed to press it twice when really I only needed to press it once. Because I'm a fool. And I don't know what I'm doing, man. What are you doing, Reckless? jump cut here for whatever oh because there's a battle that's why okay got lucky i come back here and this is pretty pointless i get this thing called a golden leaf when you hit that tree and i mean it's not that pointless but i mean i didn't, I didn't really need it at that moment it restores 10 fp so that's good at least i don't think i've used it yet <laughs> as we speak but i guess we'll figure that out in the in the not too distant future. I don't even know if I sing that right. I just, I hear that a lot. Um, I don't know what else to say right now. I gotta think of something to say. Uh, you guys, I guess I'll just like, you know, I forgot. I, I don't know. I would, I know what I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. So I'm just not going to say it. But uh, I will say, you should go totally right now, just right now, go ahead, go down to the description and click on one of those cool links of mine and follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page. And you don't have to do Twitch because it's just Twitch. I'm not even a streamer. I plan to start streaming. I said that, I, like I talked about it briefly last episode that I kind of want to do some sort of streaming type thing. But I probably won't and I probably never will because a lot of my a lot of YouTubers that I like they were like YouTubers, you know, and then they started doing all these streams on Twitch and then all of a sudden they just converted from YouTubers to to Twitchers. I don't know what they're called, man. Streamers on Twitch, Twitch streamers, Twitchers, I don't know. Who cares? And I was like, come on, because I don't really use Twitch, you know? I only used, the only reason I ever made a Twitch was for, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Zelda Dungeon, but they all, they have their, like, annual Zelda-thons and everything, and it's really cool, I enjoy it. If you guys are there, you'll be catching me there, too. Not with them, but I mean, I'll be in the chat watching. It'll be fun. I love Zelda-thons. They're so fun. Anyway... That's the only reason why I made a Twitch, and it's just been like a blank account, you know? And then like, just yesterday, actually, I would... Because ever since this whole dumb community expanding thing that I've popped into my head and it won't leave, I've just been like, oh, you know, expanding the community. But anywho, <laughs> that was me ranting about that. We are coming up to the boss already. What? Already? Yeah, that's right, already. Just up these stairs. So let's get into that. Uh, hey, hang on there, Slick. 
What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a, f a fight? I was gonna say fight. I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well, all right then, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You're a big jerk. I didn't feel like reading that. I don't know why. Anyway. You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. True that, brother. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! I'm a pig. Get it? No, I don't get it. Sorry. Oh, this guy. Anyway. Now we are fighting this guy. First things first, you're going to want to tattle this guy. So you can reveal that he doesn't have a name. That's why I keep calling him this guy. I could call him question mark. I could call him blanket. Polka dot. Anything. I think uh, this guy is actually a enemy in the first Paper Mario game, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, he's not hard at all. He's very mediocre. You could even question why he's a boss. But you'll see right now why he's a boss. Anywho, speaking of the first Paper Mario game, me and Kotaku are going to be are going to be recording a couple episodes for his playthrough pretty soon. So. Go check that out. You know, it's funny because way back in the day, like, a lot of my subscribers were just his subscribers. And, uh, I don't know if it still is that way, but I'm assuming that it isn't because I haven't been on his channel for quite some time. So, it's, it's, and like, I've gained many subscribers, you know, as the time has passed, so I'm just gonna assume that you guys aren't his subscribers. I mean, maybe you guys are his subscribers a little, but what I'm trying to say is, when I first started off, most of my subscribers came over from his channel. And now, it I don't think it's that way still. That would be pretty sad if it was that way still, if people were still just subscribing to me from his channel. Anyway, that guy just copied us, as you saw. I was supposed to point that out, but I was too busy talking about stupid stuff. Like, I always talk about stupid stuff. It's like, why am I even a Let's Player? Why am I even... I, I guess Let's Players are supposed to talk about the game, and I do talk about the game sometimes. Most of the time, I'm just talking about random crap, and I don't know why. That's why I would probably be better off as a live commentator. Other than a post commentator, but whatever. I, I would like to do live commentary. It's just that it takes so damn long. I just don't have the time to do freaking 30 minute live commentary episodes. You know what I'm saying? 28 minute live commentary episodes. Oh yeah, we already beat him. Told you he sucks. And do we level up right here? Yeah, we do. Alright, I'm pretty sure I level up my BP. And if I'm a BP, then it's the HP. I'm pretty sure it's the HP actually. Yeah, it is. Come on. Damn you past me. Damn you. I wanted to get that right. I wanted to remember what I did in the past. Anyway. That's it. That's uh that's the chapter. We got that crystal star, that fresh crystal star. I believe this one's our fourth one. I still don't know. I still don't know. I really don't. See how quick that was? See how fast things are? Just the other day I uploaded the episode where we beat Grubba. And now I'm, I'm already here, and we got our next crystal star. How great is that? We already defeated the, sc the scourge of creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. That is our fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. So there's going to be a little jump cut right here. I don't know if it's going to be noticeable, but it probably is. And the reason why that is, is because originally this is where the episode was supposed to end. And then after I finished editing it, I saw that it was only like 14 minutes. I was like, what? That's it? You know? I'm like, no way. I can't let this episode be that short. You know, I need long episodes to get things done. So we're going to continue. What a, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. That's what I said. 
We have to go to the star, so let's get out of here. Wait a second, what? Hold on a minute, let me just press that A button. Aw oh, man, you're joking. So we're this purple thing and the that that guy stole our real body. How lame. Guess we better go find him and get our body back. Um, I don't know what the heck that bathtub is filled up with, but it is not liquid. I can tell you that right now. And it's white on the inside, and it's like, you know, I could make like a semen joke or something, but semen is not a solid. Not that I would know or anything. <laughs> Come on. Haven't any of you taken health class? I'm being all dirty. Anyway. Gotta go find that dude. That guy. I don't even know what his name is. Damn it, man. Why? Anyway, I never mentioned this, but if uh, you stand around for a little bit too long, all those booze will start spinning around you and stuff, and um, they'll grab you and toss you out of there. Yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get whatever she said. I'm, I'm not. With this super bomb here, Bob bomb. There's no way we can fail. Good. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that ha huh mean what I think it does? I feel so bad for her. And every time I do this Beldum voice, like ever since way back in the day, 2015, 2014, whenever that was, I've been doing that Beldum voice. And it's like, it hurts my throat so much. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I no, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it. Man, this is throwing me back. Like I'm doing this Beldum voice, they're complaining at each other and all that stuff. And that brings me back to like when we were still in the Bogley Woods, man. Brings me back. That was a long time ago. This channel it's it it's slow progression, but it's good progression, you know. I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied with it. I mean some can argue that maybe I'm not happy with it since lately I've been complaining about like community or whatever. But it's like, you know, I really am satisfied. I like the quality of my videos. I, besides, maybe like, you know, my mic. I, I wish I had a better mic, but uh, other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, all, everything, you know? I like all this. You know, we've come, we've come a long way. Me and you guys. I, I still don't know what to call you. Last episode, I was thinking of what I should call you guys. Because if you guys are reckless gamers, and I'm the reckless gamer, you know, it just... It's like we're, it's like we're the same person, you know? Could I call you guys like... Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I never really got to it the last episode. Um, rec The name Reckless Gamer was taken. Because I was just supposed to be the reckless gamer. That's why at the start of almost every episode, I don't think there's ever been an episode where I haven't said it. But usually every episode I say it. Uh, I'm like, you know, hey guys, Reckless Gamer here, whatever, you know? But, um... You know, really my my full YouTuber name is the Reckless Gamer INC. But usually when like people refer to me, uh, they'll refer to me as the Reckless Gamer Inc., but really, I only put I and C. I don't know why I put I and C. It, but it was never supposed to be for, you know, the, uh, it wasn't supposed to be Inc. or Incorporated, you know? It wasn't supposed to be that. I just put I and C. And, like, I, like, a lot of people, like, even, like, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, oh, that's really hard to believe, you know? Like, why? Why would I just put I and C, you know? And I really don't know why I put I and C. But that's what it was. That's just what it was. So, you know... I could call you guys like inklings, even though it's not supposed to be ink. Oh, look, look who it is. It's this douche. I really dig this body too, man. I can jump now. Weren't you able to jump before? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right? Slick, your body and name belong to me now. 
you know, that's right, we're not even playing as Mario, because he's Mario. And I don't know what the hell past me is doing right now. Come on. Oh, there we go. See, I've got the power to change my shape in anyone I want. I don't know what he's saying. Now past me is going too fast. Thanks, past me. Which means you can turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. Shadow. Kind of like the Shadow Siren. Kind of like how I'm purple, like they are. I guess it'd be, it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you a chance. If you guess my real name, and I'll give you back your name and body. So let's try to do that, even though we have no clue what this dude's name could possibly be. So let's see what I try naming him. I don't know. I just did BS the whole time. And out. What the hell is this? Oh, man. I got a little cut on my thumb. Came out of nowhere. I just put question mark because really I don't know what his name is. And you don't know what his name is. And if you do know what his name is, then you're a psychic, you know? But there's really no way of knowing. Rongamundo, little nobody. Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. So uh, later on, I started just cutting out this little part because uh, every time you pass, you know, in and out of... Like, so when you're going into Twilight Town, it'll do it. When you're going out of Twilight Town, it'll do it. And I, I don't know when I start doing it, but I eventually do start cutting it out. And uh, even now, I'm just starting to think, like, maybe I should go back. Because I can still go back and, you know, cut it out. I, I, I don't record these things out of order. I don't post-commentate out of order. I mean, aww, that's no fun. So a while back, I'm, like, I've, you know, just because I've been reminiscing and such, um, a while back, I've been really, uh, oh, yeah, this girl's. She's, she's describing Mario, and then she's like, why don't you try to be like Mario? And now just reading that, that reminds me back a while back, um, in one of these episodes, like, in the description I put, like, I wish I had a, a Mario mustache. And the reason why I put that is because in this game, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the chicks dig Mario because of that fine mustache he has, you know? Uh, but like I was saying earlier, again, because I was reminiscing, um... Actually, I don't remember what I was going to say. Because now the only thing on my mind is that mustache thing I said. So, yeah. Excuse me for that. Um, maybe if I just retrace my steps a little bit. And then I think about what I was thinking of. I was thinking of cutting that. Oh, yeah, there we go. No, nope, don't remember. Sorry. Anyway, what ended up happening here was... That pig in the shop wasn't her husband. It was that weird French dude that I can't remember his name. And her husband was really the pig that, uh, you know. Her husband was really the pig. <sighs> that was by the log where we found the key. You know, it only makes sense because the husband did drop the key. And so now they're having this big old fuss in there. And the Traveling Sisters 3, you know? I love those girls. I don't know what else I was going to say. Uh, we come back here, and then... Oh yeah, dude, I totally forgot to mention. And there I go with dude again. But um, when the mother gets turned into a pig, if you talk to one of those kids, they're like, oh, can I eat my mom, you know? Like, how does pig taste, you know? And I was like, oh, that's horrific. But, I mean, it's what you gotta do to live out here, you know? Anyway, there's Vivian. Being all sad and crap. And instead of going to console her, I come in here because... Our friends and pals are in here. And there's that, that douche. Uh, Gonzalez, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest here, I rather enjoy your quiet dignity and strength of character. Oh, well, Mario, you seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please, take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. So I guess they're eating. Boy, Mario, you should grab chatty elves, and I mean, you, like, never talk. 
Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Hey, yeah, whoa, he, wow, look at me. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> wow, that's so funny to me. Nah, who might you be? I don't remember inviting you. Sorry, but Mario is just in today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Screw you, Dower. Or Dower. I don't know how to pronounce her damn name. Anywho, she's looking for a little thingy. I'm looking for something very important. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't even remember. I think it's over to the left more and it's nowhere near over here. But I think, yeah, I was, I was just checking for coins anyway, you know. You could always find interesting things in the grass. That's why I'm always checking. Look at that. Star, star piece. Woohoo. I still haven't even just, like, explained what star pieces are for, but I, I think that's just because I can't get to the, the area. I'll check that out when I'm recording again. There we go. Told you it was more to the left. I wonder if we could just let that super ball bomb sit there and disappear. I wonder what would happen. You found it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. <gasps> oh no, it, it's broken. What's a broken one? My sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks, you're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. It's weird because I can't like picture Mario. Like I can't picture like some of the lines. Like they like they give you the option of saying like I could never imagine Mario saying that. Anymore. Hey, don't feel bad. You know, like what the hell? Like you just don't have that voice. You know. I like I like the whole silent Mario type thing that they give him. You know, that would be weird if he was just like, you know, spaghetti, <laughs> you know? There was this kid in my class in my fifth period and he did a spot on Mario impression. Like that was so good. It was like listening to, you know, Mario sitting down in Super Mario 64 and listening to him mumble in his sleep. That's what it was like. It was real funny too. Anywho. I'm not really sure I want to stay with my sister anymore, and I feel like I need to repay you early, or repay your earlier kindness, so she gives me a kiss or whatever. And here we go, and woohoo, we got Vivian. Who would have guessed, you know? Who would have guessed? I, I certainly didn't see that coming when I first played this. I was like, no way, an enemy becoming the good guy. What is this? An uh, anime cliche? I'm actually starting to think about uh, how many good, bad guys become good guys in, um, you know, other video games that I've played. But we're coming up to the end of this episode, so I don't really have time to think about that. Maybe in the next episode, I'll talk about it. Probably not, because you know me. I don't remember anything. Anyway, um, yeah, we got Vivian, and now we gotta go try to find our name, you know? Get that thing back. See? We gotta find out that ghost name. So anyway, see you later.